Yay. <laughs> and uh, the stone edge over there, we were on the wrong side of the road, but never mind, it's there. Well, here we uh -huh. are in Somerset, <laughs> and uh, we should just be coming into Glastonbury because we just spotted Glastonbury Tour. It's out of sight now, but I'm sure we'll see it again as we get up there. And uh, there she is over there. No, no, we <laughs> missed it again. <laughs> oh, we're nearly there anyway, so we'll come back to you on that one. <laughs> We're in Butley. Oh, we got here. Oh, we're in Butley. Wooten. In Butley Wotton, actually. Wooten. We'll come back to you when we arrive in, uh, in Glastonbury. Oh, right. uh -huh. First sight of Glastonbury. And uh, we're on the road. Yeah. So, uh, here you go. Here you go. Here we are in Glastonbury, and the first thing we've come across is. The Shrine of St. Mary here, which is quite an impressive building. Isn't that lovely? There, yeah. And uh, this is Glastonbury. Yeah. Lovely. That's not a nice fan, really. Oh, well, here we are, Glastonbury Abbey. Apparently, um, it looks like nice grounds in there, but we've got the gates are locked, so we can't actually get in there because it's a Sunday. But uh, it does look rather nice. Yeah, there we are. Jubbly jubbly. There it is, jubbly jubbly, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, hopefully, we'll go and see the tour, yeah? What do you think, Mrs. Perry? That'd be lovely if you can make it. Here we are, uh, it's the Glastonbury tour itself, and we're heading towards it now. And yeah, yeah, rather good. Cool. I'm thinking. I don't think we're going to go up there because I don't think no. my little legs would. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> well, and apparently, not Nicky's little legs. <laughs> I'd allow us to go there. I don't think. I've just driven through. But we'll try and get up there a bit, <laughs> a bit oh, closer. This is the warehouse well, cottage. That one has footage. That's interesting. And, uh, yeah. Oh, interesting, very interesting. There's a lot of people from here. Missions of it and so on. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Very interesting here. Yeah. Interesting room. Nothing booked in the hotel yet, but this is so interesting. I'm not sure whether we can get up there to a tour or not. I'll find out. And this apparently is the Somerset. Rural Life Museum. That's all in one little place there. By the way, the other place that we went, we were invited to go in to that doorway there, and um, there was a, a guy there, hey man, on all this sort of thing, with an incense stick in his, incense stick in his hand, and he invited us to go in. It was very dark, there's candles everywhere, and a pool, <laughs> and a fairy pool, they yeah. called it, but he didn't enough. go in because he said, well, no, I don't want any cameras because people are naked in there. So we thought perhaps we'd better not go down <laughs> stoned and naked, I think. So we didn't, we didn't go in there. Um, and besides which, the steps going down into the very wet. pool, very wet and slippery, and I don't think my poor old legs could stand <laughs> over. What do you think, no, Mrs. Perry? No, I don't think it was wise. <laughs> I've been driving for about three hours. My legs won't have it either. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to find our hotel in a minute. But this museum might be worth me visiting. I don't know if you want to. But... Now, this yep. place is very positive, we found. And uh, over here, there's an old farm tractor. And everything that you would have in rural, old rural England. Um, yeah, quite amazing. That's pretty good, this. 
Somerset Rural Life Museum. Very Glastonbury. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Well. And uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, my boo again. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> well, there we go. We've, uh, <laughs> we've, we've just left Glastonbury and we only stayed there um, overnight, but um, we fitted quite a lot in, didn't we, my goodness? <laughs> so, yeah. We, uh, well, we saw the, the tour. We didn't go up there because we were so help with it. And then we were invited into. Um, a, a sort of a cave where they've got a pool and candles by a hippie who was stoned out of his skull. Uh, and he invited us in and he said, no cameras. And I said, why not? He said, because there's naked people in there. The and then uh, I sort of didn't think he was getting a bit weary. <laughs> I don't like caves anyway, so never mind. <laughs> and then I, and I noticed anyway, the steps were very slippery and steep going into the pool. They're very dim because you can there's only so, candles there. Yeah. There's only candles there. Like, I think you don't like caves, and I'm not that cave. So we passed on it. <laughs> so, we passed. Like passed on it. <laughs> so we said, no, no, I'll never get down there, mate, with me stick. And I oh, thought, peace, love, and peace, man, and all that sort of thing he's telling us. And um, <laughs> when I gave him a hug, and we went on our way. And yeah. then we saw, and as you see in the video, there's a bit of pieces. And, um, and then we went to a lovely Restaurant, didn't we? Italian restaurant. Yeah, Gigi's. Oh, yeah, it's Gigi's, that's right. Gigi, the film, Gigi. Yeah. And um, we called right in there because we met, met some people at the next and in the end, the boss of it, I think he was the boss, he said, You're welcome any time if you like. So I said, Well, we'll be coming back here next week. Said, oh, you are very welcome any time. <laughs> And because I kept going to the loo, he said, I'll bring the loo, the toilet closer to you next <laughs> time. And we had a good old laugh there. And we've just got up, just had a lovely breakfast at Airbnb, which we're going back to on our way back. And now we're off to, um, to sunny Cornwall. Yay. So, Yay. Well, to continue our Yay. adventures. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely countryside down there. Now we're going into. There we are, on the way to Cornwall. So we'll see you. When we get into Cornwall. Ciao, that's the bad thing. Well, we're coming to Devon. Devon must be missing an angel. Oh, she isn't, because she's here right now with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, quite appropriate because it's our anniversary tomorrow. Hey. Uh, yeah, ninth anniversary, yeah. and we're sort of just about to pass uh, Torrington, uh, which is where we spent our honeymoon, didn't we, hey. all those years ago. <laughs> so, all those years ago. <laughs> so we thought we'd mention that we're in Devon. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> all right, <laughs> there we go. Just thought I'd, uh, I'd break that to you. Hey. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> see you in Cornwall. Hey. <laughs> Well, there we're in Cornwall, but uh, the side come up so fast, <laughs> I missed it. The, the top of the camera was a long load here, so we we'll pass it. But um, yeah, we're actually in Cornwall, so we passed the book through there, and then we're in Cornwall. <laughs> and we yayed, but I didn't get the picture of it. <laughs> so there you go. But we're just about in Cornwall now. See you soon. Well, look what we found is a uh, really nice little place. Um, Off-road, off get food cooked fresh, never mind your crap food like McDonald's and KFC and that. This is a nice little place. Oh, isn't it? Away out there. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's really nice yeah. because uh, oh, say, oh, you oh. could wait and have a cooked breakfast properly, no crap yeah. like McDonald's and KFC. Nice. So a nice cup of tea and little benches here yeah. as well, right in a little wooded glade. Here, yeah, which is nice sort of thing you get in in Cornwall this is um, and I notice a, a wild primrose down there amongst the cylinders too which is nice uh, nice to come here in the spring really yeah 
a renewal. We need a it's a bit of a new renewal for us, isn't it, babe, really, as well? Yeah. Sort of we, renew our recharge energy. Recharge those batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> recharge the batteries. <laughs> Adventure on, darling. Adventure on, my angel. Well, this, is, this is a, a Tesla, folks, and this yeah, is your Tesla. Lucky. The Nick is delivering it, yeah. and uh, of course, it's one of what I've been saying all these years. I know. <laughs> I'd love to have one. So, all it's... the people who got the doubts, <laughs> yeah. no, they were very small. They're very it's... sitting there. <laughs> it's quite expensive, but no, um, it looks lovely. Craig can get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, so, trouble would be late. Nick is the driver. <laughs> So, um, oh wow! So obviously you've got a screen like this. It shows yeah. the, the big screen. Oh wow! Look at that! All the highest technology. Okay, yeah. So Good lord! There's a map on there and everything. Radio. Now Spotify. You've got like whatever music you want to listen to throughout the world. Wow! Uh, you can oh, also connect. You, know, you can also connect to the internet if you need to. Yeah. That's really cool. There. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so also this is um, self-driving car. It's got autopilot on it. So when you're on the motor, just yeah. pull it and it'll drive itself because it has sensors all around it and cameras, so it'll literally drive itself. Wow. That's, that's the other technology, so that's, that's the top. Wow. So it's almost impossible to run into another vehicle. Yeah, it won't allow you to because Gosh. it'll stop it. It's, it's got so many sensors on it, it'll tell yeah. you before you run into it. Uh, nice. Wow. And, nice. Uh, and, and so that's what, how, how far again will it be on the single charge? Uh, about 270. 270. Yeah. And how long does it take to charge? Um, I'll pop them out. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is really something, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? You had to stop so, here, obviously. Yeah. So most people really cool. um, would, would have a home charger. Yeah. Right. You'd charge it overnight, so probably six, seven hours of fully charged, it would be flat. Yeah. And so you put Tesla have uh, so we've got a supercharger network, which is all around the country, these special places where it charges it. So you can do a fully charge in about an hour and 45 minutes. Charges at much, much higher rate. So, really, while you're having breakfast, yeah, yeah, a cup of coffee or going to the loo in the service stations, yeah. and also that's free as well to charge it. Super charges, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, all the little dots there yeah. are the superstar charging stations. Right, so this there's a lot of them. So, you know, if you if you, if you you want to travel, say, to Scotland, yeah, okay, uh, which I'll, actually I'll, do, I'll cancel that, say, so let's just travel to to Glasgow. Right. Right, so what it'll do, it'll calculate your journey, and it'll tell you where you need to stop to go. But the, the thing you've got to remember, this, this this will be free to go there because it doesn't cost you any charge. You so what I do is exactly. it's, fi it's finding your supercharges for your trip. Wow! So this is really cool. Out where they are? It'll take a little while because I'm just going to calculate. Yeah, just, it, know, it knows how many miles are left in, in it in the charge. It's 131 miles. There. Yeah. Okay, so what it's doing is working out the route now, and it'll tell you where you need to stop and for how long. Right on your journey, and so basically, you could travel to Scotland for free. In fact, you could do it all around Europe for free because they're all around Europe as well. Right. Oh, wow! So, um, if you look here, here they are all around Europe. They're all the superchargers. Oh, there's all that in Europe, yeah. yeah. Wow, so well, there's even more in Europe yeah. than there is in the UK. Excellent. So, it's basically, it's basically found on the route now. Oh, there we are, yeah. Oh, word. Well, so it's basically like having Google's back on yeah. the car. So basically, yeah. basically, it's found the charge. So the next, so you need to go to charge at Lifton, which is the next, which is up right. there. Yeah. And then it'll tell you how long to stop for. So it's stop for how cool is that? minutes. And Michael Wood, which is at the side of Bristol, and yeah. Keel. So you only have to stop for. Wow. Four. Okay. So basically, this showing your journey here and where you need to stop. That is amazing. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you know, and, and how long it would take, you know. It's really cool. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, Nick. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's thank that's you. Really good. So this yeah. is on YouTube. That's what yeah. A lot of people, and we've got a lot yeah. of followers. Wow, well, free advertising. Yeah. <laughs> that's there you go. Wow, what a lovely car. So there you go. A lot of saving up, but it's a lovely car. <laughs> stylish. Yeah. It's very stylish. In fact, Nick, he said, it looks like a... It has no engine. Oh yeah, the engine. 
Gosh. There is no engine. Oh, oh my this, God. This is normally covered over, but there's no engine. Oh, wow. It's a... Uh, it's yeah. always electric charge. It's yeah. electric, yeah, of yeah. course. And of course, Thank you, Dick. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> and of course, the boot's huge because there's no fuel tank. Yeah, no, batteries. batteries sit under here. In a, in a, the battery uh, goes down there. The actually batteries sit on there. So the car, what makes it unique, because it was built as an electric car from the ground up. Yeah, that they, because if, if, say like BMW, Audi, they want to try and retrofit it, and so they've got to try and fit the batteries in, yeah. mm. in, a, in a space which was designed for a petrol or diesel engine, yes, and course. a big fuel tank, so it's quite difficult, where these batteries sit in a, in a, in a sandwich under there. Right. Uh, so I, wow. How cool. <laughs> So, yeah. so again, you know, huge, huge boots. <laughs> okay. Oh my! Oh wow, there. loads of room, man. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> because a fuel tank takes loads so much of room. room up. Yes. And also, you know, you have exhaust Gosh. and transmissions and stuff. But because you don't need a transmission. Oh, I love this. The the electric motors on each wheel. So they only, yeah, and the other you know, motors are smaller, so you don't need yeah. big gearboxes and transmissions and oh. all sorts of fuel right. and everything. So. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. I've never seen one up close like that. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's thank you. Put one of these up close for a long time. I have, yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you. Well, thanks again. Cheers, mate. You're thank you. Thank wow. You. Welcome, Gosh, be nice. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, thank folks. You. <laughs> All you doubters out there. Yeah. There you've seen it. Brilliant. The future's here. The future. Yeah, 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 isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Hey. Hey, it's nice. When I were going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven boys. <laughs> the seven boys had seven sacks. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse the, me. Seven, the seven sacks were seven cats. Oh, God. So how many people were going to St. Ives? Follow A30 towards <laughs> the land for 2.7 miles. And you can keep out of it, sat down. <laughs> Just one, me, because the all others were coming away from St. Ives. Of course. There you go. Anyway, we're well, here we are at the Badger Inn Hotel, <laughs> and there's a, 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 another guest here, Sheldon the Tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, she's a teacher, yeah. so he's obviously the school. Okay. So here we are in Penzance, and uh, we're looking at St. Michael's Mount, which is uh, like a castle. Right in the middle, as you can see over there, we've got uh, like a little island, and at the moment it's desolated because the bees in, the tide's in. When the tide comes out, you can actually walk across it. Years ago, not here with my daughter and Derek, we walked over there and we were um, <laughs> had to sort of I tail it back quickly here because uh, the tide started coming in and if you can stay there, you're trapped until the next tide, half the day, like, you know, you have to stay there. So, uh, we've got magic tide. But have a little sweep around, right, right over there, the whole coast, isn't that lovely? There it is. There. So, this is our first full day, really, here. And it's also our anniversary, so mm -hmm. happy anniversary, darling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Ninth anniversary. Yes. So, uh, Lovely. Right. Congratulations to you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go on and <laughs> continue with our adventures. Yes, we will. <laughs> Whoops, did that, sorry. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we have, what's your, where is it? I'm Nigel. It's Nigel, Nigel. and you're... And this is the ham. And this is a ham. Jamon Iberico. <laughs> purchased from Lidl <laughs> before Christmas, but the relatives who were due to eat it didn't turn up. Oh, really? <laughs> it's too big for me to eat, so <laughs> it's going on a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Bristol yesterday. Okay. It's been maturing in the truck <laughs> in the since truck. December. It's going right. to Manchester tomorrow. It's going to Manchester. No, Manchester on... Friday. Friday. On Friday. And then back to Kent on Sunday. Right. So it's a well travelled ham. It's a well travelled ham! Oh, that's brilliant! We're going, yeah. to, we're going to Sainsbury's now to get some salt because I've been told we've got to wash the ham. <laughs> look at that ham. Look, look at that ham. Okay. And, and I love your, your gear. Look, you're, you're more stylish than I am. Come well, on. I'm just going to wave my trotter at you. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. And say goodbye. 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 Here we are, finally at Land's End. 
Um, yeah. And uh, that's just totally the end. Good look at that, eh? That's, yeah. uh, zoom in on that. Eh? Beautiful. It's a, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is going wow. <laughs> it's so wow. <laughs> it's so wow, apparently. <laughs> Out there as well. Yeah. Good heavens. Good heavens. <laughs> heavens to Murgatroyd. The kangaroos. Huh. You must be a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think then, Mrs. Berry? Hey. Are you impressed? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not often I'm speechless, but huh? <laughs> But you are this time. I am, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's beautiful. It isn't is it? one of those moments where you just yeah, lock the words. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Beautiful. Nature to you. at its best, right? Yes. There's a seagull sitting down there. It's beautiful, this. Wow. It is. Huh. Oh, inspiring or what? Very. Huh. Nice. How <laughs> does it make you feel here then, eh? Uh -huh, as I say, it's so beautiful here, but looking out to sea it makes you feel so small and insignificant. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, the first time I came here, I was 16. Yeah. And I come back in 18 when I was 18. I've heard a lot of, of different stories from different people who have visited here, what they, how they describe the place, and yeah. actually being here yourself and seeing it yourself is. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to come. Yeah, it's, 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 it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And look at the power yeah. of the sea it's there. Beautiful. Look at that wave yeah. now. Look at that crashing yeah. there. Oh, no, I'm left speechless. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I know. Oh, look, look at that wave wow. coming up now. Um, <gasps> oh, wow. It's only just started becoming like that the last five minutes. Oh, it's God. It's changed and oh, sorry. it's become quite rough now. <sighs> yeah, you don't want to go swimming out there today. That is incredible. <laughs> Some big waves coming up here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. Nature is best. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. certainly is. And then a little place right there, look. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. God, can't beat it really. <laughs> the Atlantic Ocean. Well, folks, uh, as, I, as we look out here to the ocean, i uh, remind you about all the rubbish that we're discarding, and especially plastics, which go out into that beautiful place, that beautiful ocean out there, and uh, it's being taken in by sea creatures, whether they be birds, fish, mammals at sea, like whales and so on. Mm. And uh, we yeah. must do something about it because, you know, mankind is messing the planet up. I keep saying that. I know I've been saying that for the last 60 odd years. But um, it is very true. And uh, we've got to look over it after it. So you take a look at that now. Yeah. And you think this is what we're polluting, it might look beautiful from here, but underneath there, there's loads of little bits of plastic, mm. which are, and there was a couple of people just going past there, you see, <laughs> yeah. and all these people that are That's wandering around here, they sacred. should discard their rubbish carefully. Of course, the plate's sacred. Sacred, it is sacred, yes, the yes. sacred sea. Yes. So, I've just got to say that. Okay. Keep, keep clean and keep tidying. 
and keep her happy. Exactly. Yeah, and if she's hit it on the head. <laughs> oh, she don't hit me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I was talking about, about the wildlife feeding on human scraps. And of course they're eating a lot of crap that humans eat. And that's what's making them uh, a bit vicious and belligerent and even fat and lazy so that they can't uh, get out of the way of cars and then look at that. Look them all coming to pick up and there's a seagull right at the top, they're actually finishing off a meal there, probably a happy meal or something, or whatever it is. <laughs> but uh, he won't be happy if he look at that, see that? That makes my point, doesn't it? And you get kids that feed on all these stuff and they get all hyperactive or lazy or belligerent. And the birds are doing it too. Here you go. Let me see it for yourself. Up you stay there. Corner, there. <laughs> Here we are, my boo boo. Yeah. And we've just come from Land's End. Yes. And we're in Truiden Gardens. Gardens. We were on our way to Melzor. And we yeah. saw this, so we just, as we often do, That's we it. just decided to come here instead. <laughs> so we'll probably do males all, but look at the uh, camellias here. See, we come just at the right time, really, because the camellias and are. all the... <laughs> but lovely, let's, let's take, lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. Let's take a little walk through. There's some more camellias here. Look, that's perfect timing, really, this is. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't, we, we'd seen it before. Um, you know, we passed it, but uh, you know, the old uh, Poeticus up there, look. Narcissa Poeticus. What a lovely sight that is, isn't it? With the old trees and everything. And more camellias. Not comedians, comedians. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even more comedians. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. This really wow. is beautiful. This. Gosh. Wow. Just my type of place. Lovely. Yeah. This is like. It's a very um, impromptu visit. It's very impromptu. Yeah. I'll say we were. On our way back to St Michael's Mount where we were earlier. Hi. Yeah. And uh, saw this. And brrr, breaks. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> and it. Here. Very yeah, and here visit. we are. Yeah. So we're just sort of. Yeah, really walking around here now. It's lovely. Which I think is uh, is quite incredible. So we just just keep filming while we're walking. I yeah. think, don't you? Lovely, yeah. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's a lovely area. I say it's a lovely garden. Look at that. And look, my favourite. Of course, just at the perfect time of year this is for primroses. You see them everywhere on the embankments and everywhere up here in Cornwall, Devon and Cornwall. You've seen primroses everywhere wild ones and uh, I say loads of camellias uh, gorgeous really proper little woodland gardens this is similar to what I did in Blackpool um, really but I started that from scratch this obviously has been here for quite a while and uh, that's what I like these old tree stumps that's a uh, really character in them lovely anyway we'll have a little walk around and see what we can find yay well we all know nikki's a bit small <laughs> don't we but <laughs> she's point. standing here in the grass <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is bamboo actually <laughs> and it goes wow. all the way up Wow. This bamboo. This is where the giants live. This is the land of the giants. Well, Cornwall is known for its giants, <laughs> isn't it? Especially St Agnes, where we'll probably go yes. later on. Yes. And then down here, look at this. It's like, this is like a tropical, um, really, you know when the dinosaurs were here? <laughs> this is true. These are... Uh, Wow. Tree palms, and look at that! My God, it's I say a jungle would have been <laughs> similar to this when the dinosaurs roamed. Yeah. Because these are <laughs> when you were giant here. tree ferns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not <laughs> trees; so they're ferns, but tree ferns, and uh, <laughs> quite amazing. Yes, as Nikki said, that's. 
when I was here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the grandchildren say. <laughs> they say that, yeah. <laughs> so you go right up here and of course there's the bamboo. So, a bit daunting. Hmm. My word. Beautiful. So, there you go. So, yeah, the tree fern pit, they call it. The large hollow is reputedly the oldest recording site of the extraction in tin extraction in Goldworth, so this is a tin mine, apparently. The unusual flatbeds for tin were worked to some depth and is thought mining was being carried out here as early as Roman occupied Britain. So there you go, and now they've got tree ferns in it, which is a haven for dinosaurs, <laughs> which it was. There we are, and deeper inside the dinosaur jungle. <laughs> the tree ferns here. It's uh, look quite eerie really because it is quite, it's incredible, incredible. Look at that. Ha. Amazing. Couldn't expect to see this. Just uh, by chance we found this. That was to us though, serendipity. Like the man with the ham and the Tesla car. Now uh, we've come across this, so uh, it's a time of serendipity. This is. And Nicky was saying these look like fossilised sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're actually cycads, from what I can see, because they're just beginning to sort of come to life now, probably hibernated for the winter. And there's a pond there, which is apparently quite deep, right? But it's uh, it's quite uh, a very calm atmosphere here in this Lovely. garden. And it really is beautiful. Wow. And over here, it's... Uh, favourites, the primroses in the, in the grass and around the tree, which I always find fascinating. There is over there, look. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely. Well, well, this old fossil, unlike me, <laughs> is uh, Butea capitata, which is um, the jelly palm. But look how that's sort of the shape of that is quite amazing. It's still hanging on, just like me. <laughs> it's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> so there you go. That's the beauty of capitata or jelly palm. Lovely, eh? <laughs> Where do you get well, jelly from? We came from down here, come along here, and we noticed someone was watching us. Look, <laughs> there he is. Green man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Nicky Lloyd in the background there. That's really lovely. Yeah, not bad. Lovely little place here. Primroses down there. And uh, there's, those are dog's tooth violets. Which are lovely. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Right through there. The tree ferns again, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. And there we are. Wow, <laughs> so here we are with the Meta Sequoia and um, the Dawn Redwood tree, another ancient tree. Uh, they grow pretty, pretty tall actually. This one's a, a baby, really. But look at the bark on that. Wow. See why it's called a redwood tree, can't you? Um, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And look at the... God, that's beautiful. Wow. Huh. Wow. Yep. The dawn redwood. Yeah. And they're soft to the touch because dinosaurs would bash against them and they'd bounce back again so <laughs> at a soft bark. This is a botanist in China. 
discover this living population growing in the wild. Yeah, a living back, population. Uh, 1941? 1941, it was rediscovered. Yeah. Growing yeah. in the wild. So there you go. They thought it was a prehistoric, thought it had died out. <laughs> no. They hadn't, of course. Yay. No, no, surprising what the earth could do. Yeah. Hey. We're uh, now going out of the, the gardens, and uh, this is the way we came in. And, uh, After 50 yards, bear right, then keep right. Yeah, and they are sat there, ladies, trying to tell us where to go. We haven't even come out of the <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, big that pothole was there. Quite a dip. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible, sorry about that folks. Yeah, sorry. Um, oh, but there you go. But this is where this is the steep hill. This yes, this is really a lovely driveway along here, even as you come into the garden. And we're leaving now. So it was quite an experience. I remember that was an unplanned thing. After two hundred yards, keep right, A30. And uh, we just saw it directions to this place and so we came to see what it was all about but it is a lovely place now we're going to go back to St Ives and find somewhere to eat keep right it's quite a long driveway this but it is nice to see everything the driveway <laughs> So you're right, the first came in, we saw the primroses on the banks and that. Which, so it's a lovely time of the year, spring, my favourite time of the year. So uh, you see the camellias there, on the side of the road. Well, for dry here, it's <laughs> helped with that. See, there's all the primroses on the banks of that, and that beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Well, my favourite flowers. And there we go, we're coming out of the, the gardens again. At the end of the road, turn right. left, A30. There. Okay. A30. There we go, folks. Yeah. We're still on our first day here, and it's a nice harbour. We're rather nice. We've come quite a lot in even on the first day. Uh, we're just here, really, is how we came here to St Ives itself because uh, our hotel's not actually into the lives, but it's quite quaint, quite nice here. And um, there's the harbour, lifeboat station. And then we're thinking of we're going into one of these places here, uh, just to eat. So, but yeah, quite quaint, but I'll tell you what, it's very crowded, isn't it? Very busy. Very busy. So there you go. Thank you. 